Pick the six man ones. Hello, this is Mr. Hornsby83 with a special guest, JC. Been a while since me and JC's done a video together. Also, via Marco Polo, my friend Matt will join. He also reviewed the WrestleMania with me, so. Looks like I'll be pretty much going on my own for the pre show matches. <laughs> well, it ain't my fault I was occupied. But, uh, alright, here's my. Here's our review of SummerSlam 2017. And I guess this was the 30th anniversary, so I guess it started in 87. I don't know. But, alright, let's start with the first pre show match, which was six man tag, Miz and the Miz Taraz against. Jason Jordan, the uh, illegitimate son of of Kurt Angle and the Hardy Boys. This match was pretty decent. Um, in the end, the Miz got the pin on Jason Jordan to uh, for Miz and Miz Taraj to win. Uh, not too much more to say about that match. Right. Oh, yeah. Next up was the Cruiserweight title match between Tozawa and Neville. Neville just lost the belt Monday on Raw. But apparently they're going to have the feud continue because Neville got the title right back. It was still a pretty good match. Um, and in the end, Neville, a two-time Cruiserweight champion. Um, you watched a little bit of that match, didn't you? Uh, I saw the beginning, not the end. Uh, well, like I said, I'm pretty much on my own to the Usos match. I think, actually, I think the Usos match and New Day match is next. Yep. Yeah, alright, so... I did see that match. Usos and New Day. This match... I mean, and lately, Usos and New Day have had a lot of great matches together. So, I wasn't surprised. This one was pretty good as well. Uh, Usos got the tag titles back, which seemed like a trend throughout most of the night. Uh, pretty with, back and forth. Yeah. A lot of titles switched hands, but... Uh, what were your thoughts on it? Uh, it was a pretty good match. It was entertaining all through. Yeah, it was. But it could have been... I don't know. It was all right. <laughs> Better than most. Oh, yeah. We weren't uh, starting yet, so that's why I used that one. All right. So, Matt, what was your thoughts on New Day Usos and the fact that the Usos got the tag belts back? All right. We got to wait a minute for Matt to reply. <laughs> this is going to be tough, but we can pull it off. Come on, man. Yeah. Bro, he's taking forever. <laughs> you even looked at your message? <laughs> That's exactly three minutes ago. Probably time for bed. <laughs> well, he's the one that has to do the review. He shot. Come on, Matt, hurry up. So we could get on with the main card. <laughs> I got to go do all my stuff now. Little John. I'll do all nice and fancy. <laughs> John, can I go night loving? Some data. Golly. <laughs> well, I guess he didn't want to be on there bad enough. He's got his a lot to say. Give him a minute. Yeah, he's probably saying a lot. Alright. Well, he's you're a, doing he's that. a talker. I'm going to look at my phone. Well, while we're doing that, we can break some news. We probably won't be able to see the Mayweather McGregor fight. Which I was really looking forward to seeing. Because yeah, I want to see Mayweather knock out McGregor. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Since it's going to cost an arm and a leg to go around here. Uh, Hooters and what was the other place? Buffalo? I don't know if Buffalo Wings is showing it. Copy. But we are going to the Colts game. Colts and Niners together. Yeah. Can't wait for that. I still got a lot of questions. Who's going to be my quarterback? I don't know. Michael. Maybe they should start your rookie. <laughs> They'll probably try to tank the season for Kirk Cousins, the free agent. Uh, I don't know. I think Washington gave a bar RG3 for him, so I think. Yeah, but it seems like Kirk Cousins does not want to sign. What has taken him so long? Jesus. Is he still active? Oh, it said active five minutes ago. 
Oh, I guess he's off. Unless he went to the bathroom or something. Oh, well, we'll just move on to the other shows. I'll get his opinion on the other matches. Uh, he'll probably buzz while we're talking about the other match. Let's move on to the main card. Matt will eventually get back on. He might be doing something. But, uh, the Matt, the card started out, well, the pay-per-view started out with Cena, Baron Corbin, and... That was garbage. Match was okay, but, you know. Yeah, I, Corbin got beat with one F, F U, or wait a minute, my bad, A A. So used to it being the yeah, F. I don't get why they had Cena win anyway, since he's going to Raw. Yeah, uh, well, like I said, there's been all kinds of reports and rumors that there's heat on Corbin backstage. Something he tweeted about to a guy that like does services for the military and that, and uh. So yeah. Corbin taking on Cena wasn't nothing special. It wasn't a typical, well, it wasn't a typical Cena main event, though. Cena did go for the five-knuckle shuffle missed. and freaking missed it. Usually, when he does this part here, someone kicks him in the head, but this time, he went for this. Corbin kicked, moved out of the way. You got any other thoughts on this match? No, I didn't care for it. I like Baron Corbin, but... I don't like Cena. Man, what the heat on him. Dude. Hey, Matt, what you think of Cena Corbin? Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was meh? <laughs> At least answer. Jesus, you have to be on the review. But, all right. Uh, give us your thoughts on Cena Corbin. Active. Nope. Seven minutes ago. Uh, oh, probably getting mad because you called him a serial killer. No. Nah. He said we hadn't started yet. Maybe he thought we were still talking about the other matches or something. Anyway. Eventually, Matt will give his opinion. <laughs> I, uh, let's see. What else can we talk about? Nothing really. Uh, what was the next match? Wasn't it like... I thought it was the... Uh, SmackDown Women's? I thought it was Tag Team. No. Women have a little tag team match? No, no that match was toward the end. Yeah, women. SmackDown yeah. women's title match between uh, Naomi and Natalia. And I predicted that the cash-in would happen with uh, Carmella. I mean, and on the pre-show, she did tease that she might cash in tonight, but she didn't. Uh, so, Natalia was not beat up strong enough either. Yeah, that's true. But, uh... Natalia ended up winning with the sharpshooter. Naomi tapped. Her title reign has ended. I think she's had it since WrestleMania anyway. So I can give her that glow title. It was about time for her to lose it. She's had it for quite a while. Uh, it was a pretty good match. Both women's matches were pretty good. But um, this one was pretty good. And uh, you got any other thoughts? No, it's just entertaining. Very good match. So, what was next? I think now, who was the tag team? No, Raw Tag Teams wasn't until... No, wasn't the next match the, uh... Big Cass and... Oh, yeah. It's big Speaking slow. of that, that match was hot garbage. No, that Enough match, said. <laughs> that match, uh... They, they had so much potential in that match, they could have went with it. Yeah, I mean, I guess Big Show couldn't work magic for Cass the way he did for Braun Strowman when they feuded. Enzo slides out of the bars. That, that was garbage. I thought he would jump on Big Cass or do something. Oh, well, you know. Or slide was... down a weapon or something. That match was, like you said, hot garbage. Yeah, no, sorry about that match. Uh, next up, wasn't it U.S. title? No, it was that Randy Orton. And... Oh, that match was garbage, too, enough said. <laughs> <laughs> RKO out of nowhere. That's all I got to say about you... that. He beats up Randy Orton, and all of a sudden, Rusev gets an RKO out of nowhere. That was tough. What is this dude doing? He has to be on the review and don't even review with us. I think next was women's, or was it tag team? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it was SmackDown, or Raw women's title next. I didn't see much of that. Oh, uh, that's a pretty good match, too. Between Sasha, between Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss... Pretty good match. Uh, and again, the title switched hands. Sasha won with Banks' statement. There was a point 
in the match where uh, she had a bank statement and the cameraman was right behind Alexa Bliss. You could almost see almost everything with how tight those freaking, <laughs> how tight that thong was. Herbert. Shh. <laughs> hey. Couldn't help it. Cameraman had it right there. <laughs> yeah. That's how Vince yelled at him. Yeah, right. Vince was probably like, get that camera off of that. Put it on Romy. Yeah. Now, finally, the SmackDown, our Raw tag titles, probably. That was entertaining. I think both tag team matches, y'all, on both shows were pretty good. Yeah, I think the SmackDown tag titles should have been on the pre, should have been on the main show, and Randy Orton and Rusev should have been on the pre-show, and then freaking Cass and Big Show should have been on pre-show. Because they were really lame yeah, matches. Yeah, there was a lot of hot garbage on the main rush coming I mean, on the main show. I mean, they had Rusev attack him, and uh, yeah, Rusev attack him and uh, pretty much put him out. Yeah. But after that, Randy Orton got up. RKO out of nowhere after the bell ring won the match, which was stupid. But uh. Let's talk about the Raw Tag Team title match because that was, that was good. That was entertaining. Back and Very forth. Very good. And Seth and Dean won the tag titles. So that show reunion's possibly going to happen, maybe. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's get someone other than Roman. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up was U.S. title match. Oh, Finn Balor. Oh, what about Finn? Oh, yeah. Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt. That uh, was pretty good. Either a pins against the demon. Oh, yeah, it was a good match. Bray Wyatt lost. That's nothing new. Uh, Demon's still undefeated as yeah. the demon. Well, he was, he's not undefeated. He's, On the main roster. He's rarely lost as the demon, but he has lost as demon. Yeah, NXT. NXT, yeah. So now, speaking of NXT, I'll do a takeover review tomorrow on Facebook Live. But, uh... Let's try to get Matt on here one more time. I'm going to ask him what he thought of these matches. So, Matt, what did you think of the uh, SmackDown women's title match? The, what was it, uh, Cass uh, Big Show match? The SmackDown women's title? The Randy Orton Rusev and the Raw tag titles? Are you even still there? Come on, bro. You're leaving us hanging here. <laughs> Now he's active. Yep. <laughs> well, we might get some opinions now. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll get Matt's opinions finally. <laughs> Moment with Matt. We'll wait a couple minutes and we'll get to U.S. title match and all that. And the two main title matches. Yeah. Which I predicted correctly that, you know, the U.S. was going to be for the, before the... Well, actually, I thought it would be after the WWE title match. Yeah, we can get on with that. The Canadian hey, Indian. Sorry about that. I was in the middle of the game. Uh, the, and my, the hand, my phone got off. Yeah. But the uh, Cena Corbin match uh, sucked. Yeah. Sorry. Like, I didn't like it. Uh, you clearly could tell them and see that they were, you know, talking to each other. Um, I like the uh, SmackDown Women's match. Um, I'm glad that they put the title back on the tire for the second time, which is really awesome. Um, then the, uh, the Raw tag match, phenomenal. I love it. Um, I'm glad that, you know, Rollins and Ambrose got, got the title, so that now that means that uh, Ambrose held the tag titles, the U.S. title, the Intercot, and the WWE uh, heavyweight title. Amazing. <laughs> what about the Uso New Day tag match? What about the hot garbage matches? <laughs> well, you said Cena was garbage. Did he say anything about Corbin and show? No. Uh, Probably, you mean... Uh, the Uso's and New Day match from what I caught of it. Uh, and, um, mm -hmm. yeah. I, it kind of got out of the way. Because uh, I like both teams. Um, but, you know, 
All right, we'll go back to Matt once we get done with these other three matches. Uh, next up was the U.S. title match between well, you Kevin Owens, this one. Uh, AJ Styles, and and Shane McMahon as a special guest referee. Um, this match was pretty good, except for a little bit of the shenanigans that was going on with Shane and you know AJ, and then Shane kept getting in the way. Shane kept getting in the way, and then the Owens and AJ situation, which, I mean, Owens and Shane situation. Well, you could have won either way with the feud between either superstar again. Well, this was the one match I picked for the title not to switch hands, which we'll get to the other two title matches in a minute. But, uh, uh shoot, this match was pretty good, and, you know, they did build up some of the drama with Shane, though. Looked like Shane was counting fast for Owens a couple times against AJ. Yeah. And then he botched up the ending when freaking o when AJ got his foot on the rope and he still counted three, but then he saw it. He's like, no, 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 see, no, I didn't don't see ring it to the, the third one, but his foot was on the rope through the whole count. Right, yeah, that was a pretty good match. I think this is the end of that feud. I think AJ Styles is going to move on to something else. Uh, yeah. Owens is going to go on to face Shane McMahon. We don't know when. Probably at the next SmackDown pay-per-view. Whenever that is. So then next up, we had the WWE Championship match. Nakamura against Jinder Mahal. This match was garbage at the end. The match was good, but the ending really screwed it up because... And, you know, I don't know anybody who didn't pick freaking Nakamura to win in this thing. I know Solomon Monster and all of them picked Nakamura. I picked Nakamura to win, but I was gonna I was like Corbin not. might cash in, but then again maybe not. Which the cash in happened Tuesday on SmackDown. So Yeah, Nakamura should have won, but you got them Zing brothers or whatever the heck they're called. Zing brothers. They're always gonna get interfered. They gotta do something else with the villains, man. Let them win clean, not these because I've already seen this for the last three or four years straight. Yeah, but see, I think part of the reason why they don't let them win clean is because they are supposed to be the villains. And, you know, if they win clean, they're going to get fanfare. Yeah, but people some of the old them. villains used to win fair and square. Yeah, some of them did, but that was back in better times than WWE. Like, you know, the 80s, the 90s, and that. <laughs> yeah, that's when they actually could beat better heels. But, uh, yeah... The match was pretty good, except for the ending, and I was really shocked. I thought Nakamura was going to win for sure and become the first Japanese world champion in WWE because we've had Great Muda and we've had Antonio. Can't really Inoki. count Yokozuna. Yokozuna is Samoan, yeah, but he did compete in the Yokozuna tournament in Japan, so. Sumo, yeah. I think he won it, and that's why they chose to make him Japanese. Plus, he was with Mr. Fuji, so. <laughs> And Mr. Fuji was Japanese. Um, so, yeah, I got matched up for the ending. Yeah. <clears throat> Universal title match. This was entertaining. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, Samoa Joe. This was a pretty good match. Uh, probably one of the best Fatal 4-Way matches I've seen in a while. Because there hasn't been that many good Fatal 4-Way matches lately in WWE with the way that product's been and all that. I'm just playing out hot garbage, but uh, this one was good. Only problem was, since we had Jinder Mahal win, why did we not have Brock Lesnar lose the Universal title? But, eh, yeah, yep. I guess Brock's kind of a face. Our part-time wrestler till the WrestleMania. Uh, I think he's kind of a face, but maybe he's a tweener. I gotta I say, know. Brock Lesnar going through a barricade and three tables, I have two tables go through two tables and a table tossed on top of them. Yeah, Braun Strowman looked really strong in this match, and I even, I had originally said Joe to win, but I was like, man, I'm changing my pick, I'm going with Braun, he just looked that strong in the match, really good, I wish that Braun or Joe would have won, I didn't want Roman or Brock to win. Yeah, Roman did the same move over and over and over. Yeah, well, that's how it is with this, but uh, I gotta say I like it. Let me contact Matt again real fast. So, what did you think of the U.S. title match between AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, with Shane McMahon, a special guest referee, 
What did you think about the Nakamura Jinder Mahal WWE title match? And what did you think of the Fatal Four Way Universal title match? Hopefully, he hurries up. <laughs> I will say this SummerSlam was not bad. It was a pretty good SummerSlam. I mean, not great, but it was still. Kind well, of good. He had some good and he had some bad. I mean, yeah, some of the endings really screwed things up, but other than that, it was a pretty, I think, good SummerSlam. This 2013 SummerSlam are probably my favorite SummerSlams of the current era right now because a lot of other SummerSlams, well, back in early 2000s, they had a lot of good ones. But, uh, let's see. Hopefully he's not in the middle of the game again. <laughs> it's not worth the index is. Are you grading this on stars? Yeah. Three minutes now. I, uh, what was your rating, Matt? And, uh, we need your feedback on the matches so we can hurry up and end this. But, uh, yeah, let us know. Hopefully you're not in the middle of the game again. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll let JC give his grading first. Over here, I give it three and a half stars out of five. Oh, and a half. Boo! No. I give it a half star more. I think it was a four star. SummerSlam this year. I would, but the beginning started off crappy. Then you had some more. And then you had some good. Then you had some back to crap again. Then you had some good. Uh, I mean, like I said, I thought it was a good one. And we're pretty close on our score anyway. He's got three and a half. I got four, so. 